Is it just me or has it been a difficult summer? And yet summer's over and we're getting ready to start the new school year. We're back in the building um, at least and we're wearing masks still because of COVID. But before we say goodbye to summer, I want to tell you about two final summertime books. Hello and welcome to Book Talks with Miss Thomas. I'm Miss Thomas and today I'm going to talk to you about two books that are just fun summertime reads. I'm going to start with Beach Read by Emily Henry and Beach Read is a really cool concept. It's the premise of the book is that there is this woman who writes fluffy romance novels um, and then she can't seem to find the inspiration for her newest book. And so she goes to a beach house that she inherited from her father because her father died and she spent the last year grieving the death of her father and that's probably why she has, you know, a block, um, a writer's block, and is struggling to write a fluffy, joyous, you know, romance novel because when her father died at his funeral, she found out that he had sort of a love shack, you know, um, a place that he went with his mistress and she she inherited that place. The mistress shows up at the funeral and says, your father wanted you to have this. And then to add insult to injury, she finds out that her mother knew all about it and, you know, just to seem seemingly accepted it. So the main character goes to this love shack and she is going to have to spend the summer there because she's broke and she needs to get away from everything to write her next big book. You know, her publisher's waiting for the next big book and she's under pressure to get it done. Now, her first night at the, at the I'll call it a beach house, <laughs> um, her first night at the house, she finds this um, curmudgeon. She calls her neighbor, you know, a curmudgeon. He's like this grouchy guy, and she's really unimpressed with him. And that would probably be this guy right here on the cover. And it, it turns out he's her big nemesis, you know, through college and even high school. And he, too, is a famous author. So they're both best-selling authors. And, of course, the guy, his book is bestseller right above hers on the bestseller list. And she just hates this guy. And she has to live next door to him um, all summer. And they're both struggling with writer's block. So eventually they strike a deal with each other that they're going to switch um, genres, if you will. They're going to switch genres. And so she's going to teach him about writing fluffy romance and he's going to try to put some sort of fluffiness in his book. And he writes these, you know, dark kind of... Um, I don't know, I picture like there's grave diggers in his books and they're just um, dark and, and sort of um, have like a death theme. And so he is going to teach her about how he writes and how he researches for his book. And she's gonna try to put some kind of dark theme in her book. And the first person to sell a book wins the bet. And I um, can't remember what the prize was for the winning of the bet. But um, they have this bet, and they have to live next door to each other, and they have to teach each other about how they research. So she teaches him how she researches for fluffy romance, and he teaches her how he researches for his, you know, violent books. In this case, he's writing a book about a cult. So he's teaching her um, how he researches for that. I recommend Beach Read. I thought it was very good. Um, I wouldn't call it a Beach Read, <laughs> but you know, since it's Beach Read, I'm going to classify it as a summer book. It had a little bit of romance. Um, it had some funny, you know, memorable characters, and um, it was just a fun, light read that I recommend. The other book that I will use as my final goodbye summer, I'm so sad to see you go. Um, the other book that I will put under that category is Family Reunion by Nancy Thayer. Now, Nancy Thayer has been my go-to summer author. I really like her books. Um, this one, 
you know, I mean, it was good. It was Nancy Thayer's new book. I'll finish it because I love Nancy Thayer and it was enjoyable, but I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't care for it quite as much as I care for her other ones, but it was, a, it was an interesting book. So it was a book about, um, an elderly woman who is living in this beach cottage in Nantucket. That's Nancy Thayer's kind of known for Nantucket beach books. And she wants to have her family to visit her at her beach cottage. And her granddaughter, who is in college, or has just graduated from college, um, is the only person she's really close to. So the granddaughter comes to stay with her for the summer. The granddaughter's parents are just awful. Like, that's probably one of the reasons I didn't like the book, is because I just found the the woman who owned the cottage I found her daughter to be just a real like shallow unpleasant nasty kind of pathetic woman um, but her daughter the main character's granddaughter was lovely so the the mother got on my nerves um, the grandmother has the mother and her daughter and her husband to stay with them and then there's this brother who's also very shallow and and wealthy um, and he comes to stay and they all stay at the at the beach house in Nantucket for the family reunion so I guess that's why, I guess I'd give it like two stars out of five. I didn't care for the, the elderly woman's daughter and son. They were both very materialistic and shallow and very flat characters, very whiny and annoying, especially the daughter. The son was a little better. Um, but then the granddaughter and the grandmother, they were kind of the main characters in the book and they were at Nantucket together and they had various things going on in their lives. The granddaughter gets a job working at this camp for underprivileged children and, you know, being a teacher, my heart went to that. I enjoyed the passages about the kids at the summer camp and um, the grandmother, she starts to form a friendship with another man and, um, you know, so sort of like an elderly romance there and the story. It wasn't the, the, the main part of the story, but it was kind of sweet. So there were things about this book that I enjoy, and I've never not finished a Nancy Thayer book, but I would give it like two out of five stars still. It is Nancy Thayer's latest book, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. All right, well... That's it for Summer Reads. It's time to get into the swing of things for the school year, but I am still going to keep reading. Um, speaking of books, uh, another teacher that I work with is doing Atomic Habits, and she's you know promoting that everyone have a habit. I think my habit will be to commit to reading. Um, at least, I try to read one book a week and post those books. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I present a book that I've read previously because I didn't finish a book that week. <laughs> So I think a realistic goal would be to finish at least one book during the school year with teaching and grad school, at least one additional book once a month. I think that's um, realistic. So that will be my atomic habit. I will definitely continue to post my videos on um, every Wednesday and Sunday. Thanks for coming by.